Hello friends, welcome to our channel Google Galaxy. Today we are going to discuss the types of electrode potential. We are having the two types of electrode potential, oxidation potential and the reduction potential. We already know that, that when we place a copper rod in copper sulfate solution, we are having suppose a copper sulfate solution, copper sulfate solution. This copper sulfate solution when we dissolve this copper sulfate solution in water we dissolve in water so what in, uh, so ions will form so what will happen ions will form so what will happen ions will form we call this as ions why is it so 2 plus means it is having a cationic charge that it has loses its electrons loses how much electrons 2 electrons how much electrons 2 electrons we loses 2 electron it it now atom will call it as now copper will acting as a after losing the 2 electrons it will form the ion we call it as copper ion and sulfate ion as soon as or I can say let me place a copper rod in this solution when I just place a copper rod in this solution the copper has a behavior this copper rod has a behavior has a habit or I can say copper has a tendency to lose electrons copper has a tendency to lose electrons copper has the tendency to lose electron when it loses two electrons so an ion, an ion will form this ion will automatically moves into the solution into the solution when this ion moves into the into the solution it means that a positive charge is moved into the solution and these two electron will reside on this rod these two electrons reside on the rod as I told in plus one chemistry that a copper rod has not a single copper rod is made up of not a single atom it is made up of million trillions of atom so what will happen a million trillions of electrons will automatically de de uh, deposit on the electrode and the million trillions of positive charges will go into the solution so we say a solution is having excess of positive charge and the rod is having excess of negative charge these positive negative now will allow to flow of current so we call this one as a, that electrode potential is developed in the rod when we attach this beaker this rod with, with an electric wire there is flow of electrons takes place so this is whole about the electrode potential now remember points I'm going to tell about the types of electrode potential okay when an electrode undergo oxidation oxidation means losing electrons so what is copper is doing copper is is losing is electron so we we call this copper rod is undergo oxidation the positive ion present in the solution the positive ions present in the solution how these positive ions are formed when the copper loses its electrons and the ions will move in the solution I am saying now opposite I am saying vice versa if this is happening that the copper will form ions these ions if the concentration of ions in this solution will increase then excess of positive charge will again will again gains the electrons from this rod and stick 
and stick to this rod we call this one as this that the overall quantity of this negative charge will reduce when this positive ion will stick to this rod will stick to this rod as a result a positive charge is imparted a positive charge rod gains why is it so because this time rod is having not that much electrons before sticking this positive charge to this rod now what will happen remember this point as a result electrode will now attract the electrons from the solution remember this point from where electrode will attract the electrons so because there are num numerous number of ions are already present so this rod will again try to receive the electrons from this sign towards itself so we call it as that the this electrode will attract the electrons and has it tendency has the habit has the behavior to accept electrons so we call this is as reduction potential we call it as reduction potential now there are two types of electrode potential one is oxidation potential when having the tendency to lose the electrons another one we are having the reduction potential it means it it has a tendency to receive the electron to attract the electron to accept the electrons from the solution we call it as reduction potential so if a metal is given to us if a metal is given to us when we dissolve when we place in solution so oxidation will be like number of electrons if a zinc is given to us zinc rod is placed with zinc it will lose its electron this is a example of if copper is given to us if copper is given to us so what will happen it will decompose into the solution and ions will form automatically this is the behavior of copper zinc or any metal rod we call this as oxidation potential when we say reduction potential reduction potential it has a tendency to receive the electrons to accept the electrons and get reduced reduced means getting the electrons and become neutral when it receives two electrons we call it as it becomes neutral similarly for the copper okay it is now quite clear it is not quite clear that this standard oxidation and this standard oxidation this one is oxidation and reduction both are happening in the copper side so when having the tendency to lose electron if i just say copper having the oxidation number of plus 0.34 if i just say that this standard reduction potential sorry for my mistake if i just say if a value is given to us that it is having the how much voltage voltage means power power to attract the electrons what is voltage voltage is work done in moving a charge so if i just say positive positive means reduction potential that is how much it is having the power to attract the electrons from the solution if i just say 0.34 volt is the reduction potential it means power to attract the electrons from solution towards itself so so therefore reduction potential will takes place if the electrode is having positive sign we call this if a copper is having plus 0.34 volt it means it is having the attractive electron if it is having the negative 0.34 volt it means it is having the tendency to lose the electron to lose the electrons this is whole about the types of electro uh, electrode potential thank you for the lecture